a chill over her head. Oh, you all are. I'm 650 years old, you know. So you're all Halloween children to me. <laughs> oh, there I go. I'm better. <laughs> oh, tonight. Oh, we have friends and a story. We have a story. Did you see my pretty necklace? It took me a long time to collect all those and shrink them down. And I had to have lights put in. Oh, but I love it. I just love it. How are you all doing? Oh, I'm floating forward. Oh, my, 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 my. Well, I guess we'll need a little bit of light for the rest of this. glasses so I can read you this very excuse me old witches I know speak sometimes too oh, oh I want to meet, introduce you to one of my very dear friends oh yes this is Betty Bat don't you think she's sweet yeah, oh she does have red eyes but she doesn't eat people. She eats fruit. Yes, she likes fruit. Oh, and she likes you, but not to eat just fruit. Oh, here we go. Here we go with a story. It's a story about Ricky Rat's horrible Halloween night. <laughs> find food in garbage cans, in alleys. I've got a story to tell you about one particular rat. His name's Ricky. I told you it was a story about Ricky Rat. Ricky climbed from one garbage can to another eating all the junk food he could find. It was Halloween, so candy wrappers were everywhere. And with the candy wrappers, some of them had little bits of candy left in them, so he was having all kinds of fun. <laughs> As he was eating his treats, though, a vampire found him. And this was a very hungry vampire. So he didn't care that Ricky was a rat. And he bit him. He bit Ricky, the rat. And Ricky started becoming a vampire. Oh my. But he was still scared. And he ran as fast as he could. Into the street. Where a riot of zombies was going on. And you know, zombies are brainless. They don't have a they don't have any brains. That's why they chase. They want brains. Unfortunately, since they're brainless, they don't know where the brains are. But one did pick up Ricky. Yes he did. 
and he bit him in the leg. There are no brains in the leg, but it still has its effect. And Ricky started turning into a zombie as well. Can you figure out what happened next? Ricky is now a vampire zombie. What kind of a thing is that? Oh. But now he had to go looking for a victim of his own. Who did he find that Halloween night? He found a ghost. They were also quite brainless. So he tackled the ghost and bit it. And as he let some blood go, it seep into the ghost. Well, the sheep were the ghost. The ghostliness seeped all over Ricky. Yes. This is what's happening to poor Ricky. See, he's got his vampire teeth. They are just sticking right down in, and they're all red. And it's turning the red. The, it's just staining the eyes of the ghost. But, you know, it's turning Ricky into a ghost. And there was his vampire. See, he's got that green, he's got that green flesh falling off. Poor Roy, poor Ricky. But he's now turning into a ghost. And so can a rat be a zombie, a vampire, and a ghost? Can they? Oh my, my, my. Oh my hair stuck in my glasses. Oh, that's just magic for you. I can't seem to get a magic potion to take them out of my glasses, but that's okay. We'll just keep going. Well, it seems, no. A zombie, zombie, a zombie cannot be a vampire and a rat. No, not all at one time. See, um, oh, dear, my hair. <laughs> No, because see, ghosts don't have teeth. And they are nothing but puffs of air that wear sheets. Generally white. They do like watching white sheets. So, even though Ricky was cured of being a zombie and a vampire, now he was a ghost. And we have another little friend that's been watching all of this. We have a gas, the gas being a scared ghost. And he just floated away as fast as he could so that Ricky could not steal his sheet. wants to dance too. He's such a big spider. Oh, he might bite me. No, you wouldn't, Betty. You're just, uh, you like your fruit. You don't, you're my friend. Oh, I would love it if you could sit on my shoulder, but I'm afraid I'm hunched these days. I'm old and hunched and you fall off. So, enjoyed the story. I hope you did all. And I just would love to have you treat, oh, no, I don't mean you as a treat, ah, uh, no, I mean, I want to treat you to this story. And the song is dance.
in kind. I may be an old bitch, the bitch, but I am trying so hard, even at 650 years old, to be kind. <laughs> I'm dying, I really am.